Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday, May 5th, 2022. Uh, chilly day outside, about 42 degrees here at the house. So I'm not outside, even even though it's sunny. Um, at the goldfinches are at the feeder. And also, don't want to disturb them. That's a good excuse too, right? So, uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. <clears throat> Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here. My thoughts of dog goob morning cup. So, cheers, church. Okay. We are in, we're going to be using the word in season this morning. And our writer for this part is, let's see, May 5th, Jennifer Ginn, retired ELCA pastor, currently serving as interim at St. Luke's. Lutheran in Lexington, North Carolina. She adds coaching and writing to a professional life. She and her husband, Lloyd, tolerate two furry children. I don't know. It doesn't say cats or dogs, but tolerate might mean cats. Well, it might mean dogs. Who knows? So anyway, Jennifer Ginn is our writer for today. And our, so our scripture reading for today is our psalm for worship this week is Psalm 23. Uh, fourth Sunday of Easter is always Good Shepherd Sunday. So the psalm for uh, every year on the first Sunday of Easter, our fourth Sunday of Easter is uh, is Psalm 23. And then the gospel reading is always from John 10, various portions, depending on what year we are in. So today it's Psalm 23. And you know this. We did this as our midweek Lent focus, uh, focusing on a verse each week during the midweek Lent services and kind of really took a deep dive into Psalm 23. So, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Okay, sound familiar? You heard that before? So our, our uh, Devo from Word and Season, Pastor Jennifer, is uh, a table, the title is A Table That Challenges, and the uh, theme verse is verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Imagine a lavish table set just for you with gleaming dinnerware and luscious food. You feel blessed. But wait, you've got company. Your enemies have watched this table being prepared. Before you pick up your fork, you look them in the face, remembering how dangerous it can be to turn your back on enemies. Psalm 23, beloved across the church, has always comforted but never before challenged me. Now it does, as I am reminded every day that my table is set by the Lord. In grade school, many, many, I'm sorry, in grade school many years ago, only one many, not too many. In grade school many years ago, when I was narr narrowing my guest list for a sixth grade party, I heard my mother caution, it's bad manners to exclude anyone. She was giving me holy advice. Even now, when I think of people I'd rather leave off the guest, off a guest list, I recall that the Lord invited everyone to his feast. If I trust the host who sets both the table and the example, how can I exclude anyone from my guest list? Hmm. I understand what she's trying to say there, that God welcomes everybody, but especially especially for kids. If if you're having a birthday party and there's a kid in, in the classroom that is, is a bully, um, it's probably not wise to invite that person. Or maybe it is. I don't know. It's, it's one of those confused... I'm glad I'm not a parent <laughs> these days where you have to kind of think about those things where... Um, and be um, 
be protective of your children from uh, the, the people in school that may, may be picking on your child. So I understand in the, in the broad sense of God's kingdom that everybody is invited and included. Um, not necessarily that I want them there, but, but that God wants them there. I think that's probably maybe the important point. It's not about what I want. It's about what God wants and what God gets. Um, I tend to be a, 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 a universalist in salvation. I think everybody gets into heaven. Um, I, but that raises some questions, right? Like, who? well, first question is, who am I to, to exclude anyone from heaven? That's not my call. That's not my job. That's way above my pay grade to, to decide who gets in and who gets who who doesn't. Um, but I think God wants everybody there, and so God gets what God wants. So everything I think God will include everyone in salvation, um, even the people I don't want there. So, yeah, yeah. Interesting things to ponder on this Thursday. <laughs> Yes, but I think the important thing is to know that uh, that we are included. We are there, right? God does include us. The table is set for us, and uh, whether God sets the table for uh, every single person in this world, that's up to God, not me. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there for today. Um, hope you have a great weekend. The weather is supposed to be fantastic at least on Saturday, maybe a little rain coming in on Sunday. Um, we have our annual youth service on Mother's Day on Sunday morning, so that'll be recorded and, and uh, posted. Also, tonight's worship uh, will be recorded and posted as well. So, um, yeah, hope you have a great weekend and enjoy the weather, enjoy Mother's Day, and, uh, yeah, just have a blessed weekend. Be of strong heart and good courage this day to your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. You know the drill. Masks, distance, all that stuff. Um, we do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Holy host, thank you for the table you set for us each day and teach us to share its bounty. Amen. Blessings upon you this day and this weekend. Peace.